Behind these gates lies another house where the family seems to have evaporated with time. Mr. Luce and Mrs. Wendy once spent their life within these walls, and after they departed this earth, their cheerful home has turned into a cheerless, desolate place. It's a textbook example of one of the many derelict rustic farmhouses that you can find in rural parts of Belgium. Why did nobody ever come back to retrieve its contents, their priceless memories? And why did their home never get sold? Let's go on a hunt together to these questions, as we will give you a glimpse in their blissful life in the Belgian countryside. Today we will show you a house that's been abandoned for quite a while now. As you can see, plenty of cobwebs on the door, but I can't seem to find Raymond. Yeah, bro, isn't it time for lunch break yet? Oh, wait, there he is. I mean, yeah, I'm, I was already preparing my lunch over here. See. <laughs> <laughs> so that was quite a funny intro, and as you've seen, electricity is still working in this place. And that's sometimes the incredible thing about these places in Belgium. Today we are actually exploring a, a farmhouse, as you can see here on the photo. This is the actual premises that we are exploring. And currently we are in this building. And this was once the house of Mr. Luce and Mrs. Wendy. And we think these people actually passed away and that's the reason why it is abandoned but why nobody actually tried to sell this place or empty it from its contents still remains unknown to us. Hopefully we will find an answer along this exploration and yeah, we hope you enjoy this video. Let's go. So we're going to start us off in the part of the living room where Romerino just showed you the intro and <laughs> every family picture is just left over here. I mean, these are some personal belongings. That's the first thing that I noticed inside of this room. Over here, I think these were even our grandchildren. Oh yeah, possibly. Look over here, <laughs> they were celebrating the birthday. This was actually uh, the woman. This was Mrs. Wendy. And you know what's a crazy thing? The glasses she's wearing in this photo over here are actually laying on top of the table. Oh yeah. These were her glasses, they are exactly the same. <laughs> Oh, that's actually kind of scary, man. This is it makes it really I'm... realistic to know yeah. that this was actually the woman living inside of this place. And also, I don't know if you can see the coat webs, but yeah, it's covered over here. Absolutely. Actually, right over here, it's like a secret passageway or something. Look, this is so strange. Probably we cannot even walk inside of it because it's so many coat webs, but this is like a hidden bedroom or something. And we think it was for children. Yeah, because over here is also a blackboard. And actually, I haven't checked this yet. But yeah, of course, still filled everything. All the glasses, the candy, but doesn't look good anymore. So some more pictures, right? Do you think this was the man? Could have been right. Maybe, yeah. There were multiple people, so I don't know. This was actually uh, for somebody's holy communion. Could have been a grandson of them. 
Huh. What is this again? This is a USB stick. Oh yeah, it's from Vodafone. It's a, like a Wi-Fi USB stick. Well, an actually <laughs> funny part <laughs> talking about that. You will see something in a minute and you will be flabbergasted. Honestly, bro, of course, we want to have as much privacy as possible, but don't you think it's really, yeah, we have a laptop with us. We should check out the USB stick if we can find anything more about the owners. Yeah, but this is from the Vodafone. You see, this is uh, this has to do with the Wi-Fi, man. Yeah? You don't think there is something on the memory card? Uh, yeah, we can have a check. I mean, we can check it yeah. later. Let's first explore the rest. Well, actually, talking about electricity things. Over here in the corner. This looks like a camera bag. And it is. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it is a very vintage camera. What is it? It's a Polaroid. It's but is, is this really a camera? Yeah, yeah, it's a Polaroid. Dang. Must be very old. Oh. <laughs> really cool. It's actually a pretty famous brand back then. Yeah, and still is. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's very Instagrammable, man. Yeah. <laughs> to have a Polaroid. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Yeah, some other pictures. Huh, even a baby picture. So cute. Yeah. I think this was definitely one of their grandchildren. Oh, look. Still on the side, some glue wine, and just also the co webs. Yeah. Oh. It's insane, huh? It's really insane. There are some more photos on top of it. Yeah, all right. This place is so untouched. Yeah, this is very untouched, man. You know what I actually also really like is over here. You have the stick, the walking stick. Oh yeah, the walking cane. Yeah, and I had a cane indeed. And over there. Oh, this was definitely done by one of the grandchildren. Yeah, and this was actually a decoration for a festivities that we celebrate in the Netherlands and in Belgium. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas. I think I have to pronounce it in uh, English. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Saint Nicholas. Yes. Look, still even magazines and papers inside. Yeah, and talking about magazines oh. and strips. Yeah, the very famous comic books of Suske and Wisko or Bob and Bobette. Oh, and look over there. <laughs> no way. Yep. That that's was the Wi-Fi uh, rotor. That, that's a crazy thing. The Wi-Fi rotor is actually still on over here. What the heck? It's very strange, huh? If we knew the, the key, we could just like survive in this place for a week or something. Probably and even still upload videos. <laughs> Probably it's down. Yeah, it's, the key is right over here. <laughs> it's <laughs> crazy, man. Yeah, but I'm not gonna use it. Just out of respect. Yeah. Well, there are some more photos, as you can see. Well, before going to the next room, there are still some cool things here on the table. Oh, yeah, right. This was actually a book where they could collect things. But what did they collect? There is a name, Eric, so maybe that was their son. Hmm. And what they collected... Hmm, I don't know, it's quite old actually. I think it's, yeah, it's so old that the prices are still in francs. <laughs> I think we're totally not <laughs> used to this. Not used to this indeed. What is this? 1927-1982. Oh, it is so cool, it's the menu card of a wedding or something. Yeah. Also this yeah. over here, you see? This was uh, the menu from a wedding invitation. Okay. Wow. Communion picture? Yeah, definitely. A beautiful photo. Yeah. Maybe their daughter? Maybe yeah. their granddaughter? I think their daughter. Where is another one? Oh, wow. Beautiful. This must be their marriage photo. So beautiful. Mrs. Wendy and Mr. Lucien in their glorious days, happily in love. Still so pretty in place. Happy that at least these photos are still in a good condition. Yeah. And not too much decayed. Well, still a prayer chair over here, and it's crazy. Even the name is written on top of here. And then we actually make our way to the next part. 
That's right over here. And totally this pristine. Is their main living. <laughs> it's actually so unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you could not smell the mossy smell that we are smelling and see the tiny cobwebs and details mm -hmm. yeah. on the naked eye while watching this, you're probably even asking yourself, is this truly abandoned? Yeah, well, you can definitely tell it is abandoned if you look at the front door. Yeah, and a lot of mess over here and that front door hasn't been opened for many years. There are so many cobwebs. But anyway. Right over here on the table, what is it? A world map. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. And you can still hear electri electricity. Yeah, I think the generators are right over there. Yeah, I can still hear it running. It's actually quite dangerous. <coughs> mm -hmm. Because meanwhile, the humidity and everything is just making its way inside. So it can easily cause some fire. Old fashioned clock. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Oh, well, look this. Still old photos over there. And what is actually pretty sad is the room right over here. Dang. It's quite messy. But you see, these boxes, they've never been opened. Oh, really? Yep. Never. So there was still just stuff that they never used. They yeah. bought it and they never used it. Strange to me though that this room is such a big dump. Maybe they use it for storage. <laughs> Look, even over there, it's a big iMac box from oh, Apple. Yeah. And also an iPad. So <laughs> it's crazy. Very crazy, yeah. Well, you can definitely tell that they were of older age. Oh, yeah. And they probably went to a nursing home, maybe passed away over there. And ever since, their homely place actually got abandoned. Neglected and forgotten. So sad. I personally think that um, the people that were like the children, they only took like the more expensive stuff and then they just left it. Just yeah, probably. Look, there's also a beautiful vintage photo over here. Yeah. Look, everything is still some money. One oh, yeah. euro. That's literally a euro. It's the highest we find. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more than one dollar. Well, yeah. we actually found. Uh, I think around 20 euros one time in a home in France. Yeah, in France indeed. Just be careful for the coat wipes, by the way. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, huh? It is uh, just hanging over here. And actually, within quite a short time. Because wow. the latest date we found must have been, well, I guess around 2017. Something like that. Unbelievable. But I think due to humidity, coat wipes are coming and growing very fast. I sometimes really have a feeling that these spiders actually sense that the place is abandoned <laughs> and they just find their shelter inside. And this is even crazier. Wow. This is ancestors. Yeah, it must have been family ancestors or relatives mm -hmm. who had their weddings, maybe even friends, who knows. Beautiful. Unbelievable. Eh? Over there, also a beautiful barometer on the wall with a clock on top. Mm -hmm. Still a dry bouquet. Yeah. <laughs> Inside the vase. I actually quite like this chair. It looks uh, Arabic <laughs> to me. Yeah, Arabic <laughs> or French with these details or Spanish, you know? Oh, yeah. Always with these details on the <laughs> Dalmanita. All right, so we're now going to the rest of this beautiful home. And this was actually their kitchen, obviously. But first, I think we have to show them one other thing. Yeah. There is a door here. Well, leading to the basement, but it's completely <laughs> flooded. <laughs> it's completely underwater. I mean, wait. We do the test, huh? Yeah, something Grab like the empty bottle, maybe? Yeah. Well, empty. It's not completely empty, but... All right. I think this is going to make some noise. Dang. But you see... That water is so dirty, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> even the cork is now losing from the bottle. <laughs> Maybe we can do a bottle message. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Well, and then, yeah, this was the main kitchen. 
And what I think is pretty strange is over here, in the middle we have some paperwork, of course some private documents, not Ooh. going into there. Look on the cover of the box. What is this? Who are these? I think those were the owners, man. Do you think so? Yeah, or I don't know. Maybe this was from somebody who passed away, maybe in memory of yeah, this person. Because yeah. I find a lot of different faces in this place, actually. I think they have many friends, maybe also a big family, but mm -hmm. this is so strange. Like it's all barricaded, but there is this one door. It's leading to an attic, what the heck? Oh yeah, oh and look, hmm. I shouldn't step on there. <laughs> no, it's definitely not stable anymore. But it's also full of cold webs. I hear a clock, it's still ticking. Damn, that's crazy. It's really crazy. <laughs> Clock is still ticking, man, after so many years. Anyway. You, you heard on the camera, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Must be. You heard it very loudly. Well, no. this was just a bathroom. And there is some black mold even in the corner. Oh, yeah, dang. That's very crazy, man. Now I can't unhear it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then right over here, another barometer. Another barometer, indeed. And talking about pictures. Wow. Look, this is their wedding picture, and it's with all their friends. That's a beautiful photo. Did you ever saw something in a style like that? I really like it. This is not in Belgium, or maybe in the f in the in the French part. Yeah. yeah. So that means that they had some French uh, family. What I also really like to see is just the natural degradation of this flower. Mm -hmm. You can tell, man. All its leaves are just falling off. Yeah, but you can tell. I think, yeah, three, four years maybe. Not more. <laughs> so strange. Oh. I hear something. I hear something. Yeah, I heard water. Maybe the hut. No, but I heard something. Somehow the water is still connected, but it's not coming outside of the crane. No, no, no. Well, yeah, this was uh, <laughs> my sandwich. <laughs> this was the experiment of Raymond. <laughs> I wasn't that hungry, so. <laughs> well, let's say after this place, we take a lunch break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a decent one. <laughs> Are there still some eggs inside? Do you think so? No, 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 no. Well, I'm actually pretty curious. Uh -huh. Oh, look, there is an old photo. This must have been Mr. Julien yeah. in his later days. You can tell he definitely reached a beautiful old age. Wait a second. If it's electricity, it still works. No. No, unfortunately. But what I'm actually looking for is where is the fridge? Does that mean that we will not have a fridge test in this abandoned home video? We need and it will be test. a historical moment. We need a fridge test. <laughs> I mean, there must be a fridge. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Not a fridge, but still even as nasty as a fridge. Bro, there, the fridge is nowhere to be found. What is this for a strange place? It's really, yeah, it's, it's not a place like a usual one, you know? No, no, no. Oh, that's cool. The effect. You know what I really like? How all these smoking pipes are still hanging up here. Damn. This is a very long one. <laughs> yeah, this is a huge one. <laughs> all some tiny this and that's here. Oh, look, some old photos too. You actually see that? What? It's a family member which passed away. Bro, that is Mr. Julien. That's not a family member, that's the man. He passed away in 2004. Damn. That was a cross for him. Then she lived here for a long time. Alone? By herself. That's actually really sad. That's almost 14 years alone. My gosh. Damn. How old did he? Wait. 23. He reached a pretty beautiful age, to be honest. 
he or said, still is sad that Mrs. Wendy actually used to live alone here for quite some years. Yeah, he became 81 years old. Have you ever seen a stove like this? It's a very uh, traditional American stove. Yeah, it looks really retro. Yeah, indeed, retro stuff. <laughs> Look, they were even burning walnuts. <coughs> <laughs> so unusual. Television. Oh, a television. Pretty old one. Well, it was actually one. from a local television maker here in Belgium. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. It's there, yeah. It's not yeah, like yeah. a famous brand like Philips or something we often find. And, and look at radio. this. This is crazy. This is inside the home on the leather sofa. Again, the woman with the same glasses we find on the table inside the first room we showed. So sad. Unbelievable. And yet a radio, as you've mentioned. I think this was maybe for mm -hmm. a grandson, a sandbox. What is in there? Whoa. Oh, all the glasses. <laughs> Everything is in there. But I need to honestly indeed say it, it, it just feels like a a typical grandma home, you know? Oh yeah, definitely. But it definitely explains that she lived there for... Yeah. You can definitely tell it was once occupied by an elderly couple. Mm -hmm. But she was the last inhabitant. Look, a huge flashlight. Yeah, and they're completely moldy. Another one, yeah. Yeah, damn. Also some, some medicine and some prams. Typical normal stuff, yeah. <laughs> well, then, lastly, we have one last mm, room to last show room, them. Yeah. And this is actually, I need to say, my favorite one. It's very beautiful. Oh, wow, look at the colorful bed still made up. It's really neat. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> look, even those flip flops are still <laughs> laying on the ground there. And how about the sheep carpet? Yeah. <laughs> Sheep rock, and what's this? Oh my gosh. All their clothing. It's actually so many of clothes, yeah. That uh, just imagine that there are many things from the man left, and she had to see all his clothes for 14 years. Must be very painful. I really hope that this woman just lived a peaceful life, life the rest of those years. This one's actually broken, so yeah, we can only open this door. Those are definitely some other man clothes inside. Yeah. Wow, well, look at this, by the way. Yeah, some pictures on the wall, but I don't think it's them. Those really look like stock photos, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely them. Well, I don't know. Those are again some other faces, bro. Yeah, right. So, so many marriage photos. But I've seen this one. This is the... the but you know what I find crazy? So many marriage photos. We found invitations for weddings with the menu. It looks like they attended much weddings or they had plenty of friends. Mm -hmm. And they just, yeah, attended all those different marriages. Well, I personally think... Because what I also found is uh, over there we had like these cards from... Um, where the pictures were taken, maybe the man owned this. Uh, he was like a photographer, but who knows? Yeah, yeah. maybe he, he had a photography studio. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah, Maria Evelyn. Maybe finalist queen. Two thousand four. Ten. <laughs> Definitely was not their daughter, I think. But just a granddaughter, maybe. Oh, look at this, bro. This is very cool. Oh, it's a Medal of Honor. Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah, for sure, man. Like this. All right, I've never seen it before. And this one too. So man was definitely in the army. And agenda's from 2005, 2006 here. Oh, and more old photos, I think. You see again from a photo studio. Yeah. And I've seen this one 
plenty of photos. This must have been their son, I think. Yeah, this must have been the son. Yeah. Because he's over there, he's over there. Another marriage photo, of course. Yeah, strange, huh? People are definitely Roman Catholic. Crucifix there on the wall. Actually, look at the beautiful painting there. Yeah. It's Maria with angels. I really yeah. like it. Definitely. Oh, it's the bed squeaking. Yeah, it's squeaking, man. <laughs> Actually, have you seen the heart? Oh, yeah, it's a heart shaped pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. All right, people. Well, going out right now. Put off my mask, closing up the window, and I want to thank this family for having us inside of their place. And I need to say from the outside, it's also still very beautiful. Yeah. I personally really enjoyed it. It was a small home, but it had some cool stuff inside. And you can definitely tell it hasn't been abandoned for that long. So I really like the mixture between modern and very old. I hope you liked it as well and if you did so you know what to do like subscribe comment right down below ring the bell notification button right up there and then we will see you on our next adventure peace out <laughs>